Okay, here we are on the side of the road, and uh, we got a little rescue mission going here. We've got a couple of guys that were broke down and got a flat tire. So my camper is kind of full. We just stuck the motorcycle on the back of the truck. Why not, right? So we're going to try and get him a few miles down into Aldama. This is a father and son duo, and the kid was trying to ride this thing on a flat. I think he was going to kill himself pretty quick. But uh, <clears throat> these guys, they make charcoal for a living, right? Yeah. They go burn wood and make charcoal. And people buy it from them to run their barbecue pits. So I'm going to give them a ride here. Hope this thing doesn't fall off. Let's go. <clears throat> I tried giving them some air, but it didn't work. <clears throat> but... <clears throat> Once you take on a, a mission like this, you can't just leave them sitting there inside the road. If there's any way you can get somebody in. And he's pretty concerned about that nice motorcycle he's got. But I'm looking in the rearview mirror, I think it's gonna be okay. All right. This video might be a little jerky. I was wanting to show you some of this mountainside out here. This is rolling hills outside of Bar del Tordo in Playa del Sol. And I saw these guys with a flat tire and I've got a little air pump. So I thought, well, I'll stop and give them some air. They filled it up and they didn't get very far. They got a pretty good leak. And then after stopping a couple of times to help them, they they decided that we we're gonna try and ride it with on a flat tire. And that didn't work. There's a little monument, yay. So we're just gonna take it easy on here into Aldama. Aldama's the big city around here. And uh, these guys don't speak any English, so I don't know what they think I'm doing here. But um, we're gonna pull this rescue mission off, I think. I knew that little light bike, we could probably get it on the tailgate. I've got a bunch of everything in the back of my truck, so I couldn't really get it inside the truck, but it fit pretty good on the back of the bumper there. And as long as we don't lose it, lose it they're gonna be happy guys, I think, by the time we get there. But these roads around here, you really gotta watch them because they're full of potholes and whatever they, they can be very rough now the sign here that says ranchera 440 beceros and beceras that's what they're buying or selling uh cows and, and uh, bulls for you see those signs around here you want to buy a bull you want to know what you're going to pay for it and they put it right out there on the street I got lots of horses around here. People love their horses here in Mexico. I'm very proud of their horses, and rightly so. It's a, you know, it's a sign of prosperity if you can afford to have a horse. Um, now right along here somewhere is where I met the Baco guys. Uh, one of my SpaceX Starship 25 Hetal Search Adventures. Uh, videos. It's actually one of the most popular ones I've got, where these guys let me play with their their backhoe, and that was right up here. So we're on the outside of town here, and I think the backhoe guys were right there. I don't see them today, but um. These are hardworking people here and, and really good people. There's a couple of bad ones that spoil the lot, you know, and so everybody thinks that Mexico is such a terrible, dangerous place. Oh, here's our topis, 
or speed bumps. Okay, the motorcycle's why now. So the gentleman here, the father, has told me that he has five children all together. This is a school on our left here. And looks like a pretty nice one, really. Some of the schools you see in Mexico are much smaller than this and barely one room, it seems like. Of course, there's tiny little villages. So here's the, here's the street sign for Soto La Marina, Tempico, and Aldama. So oh, this is Aldama. Soto La Marina is north of here, and that's the town that's close to uh, La Pesca. Uh, this road, kind of the main drag through this town, there's a highway that goes north and south, and this is the, uh, I guess, east-west road here. The motorcycle seems to be fine back there. It's not moving at all. So I'm going to take them to a we we'll take these guys to a tire shop, I think, a Bocanizadora. And uh, I don't know if you'll be, be able to see that motorcycle back there, precariously strapped down on the tailgate. <laughs> but in Mexico, this is nothing unusual, not at all. So uh, here's, here's our friends. They're in the car with me. They're unwilling participants in this video, I think. They, they're looking at me sideways a little bit every time this camera comes around. <clears throat> hey, Nathan Ray. Hey, hey, Charles. I see you're watching. Nathan, you can get your ass down here with me sometime. This is where we get our water, um, our agua perfecta. And another sign of affluence is giant coconut trees like this. Most of the time, they, they, they paint them white. We gotta be very careful. Get that motorcycle back there. But this road here, it's a two way, but you can never tell it because there's cars parked all the directions and it's not wide enough for anybody. There's a motorcycle shop right there buy some clothes over here we do another speed bump oh there's a barber shop oh the chicken place i've been wanting to check this place out fried chicken man that looks good you can't hardly get fried chicken down here but there it is right there and i passed it a couple of times i think it's a mistake i need to go back around the block let's see that is by the corner of an unmarked street an unmarked street so let's see here Nathan Ray make good decisions are you kidding Nathan I'm here it's too late <laughs> uh, so do you have done it care Donde va? Okay. okay. So they're telling me they want to go somewhere. Uh, I'm not sure if it's this street or where it is, but we got the rescue mission going here. I think we're going to get them there in one piece. The son's pretty proud of this motorcycle, I can tell. He was kind of wondering about the derecha. Aquí? No, no. Aquí Una más? Una más? Aquí I'm not sure if we wanted to go there. Or not. I'm not sure. Uh, now the OXO, the OXO sign down here. Aquí? Sí. Derecha? No, la otra, la otra. No. Another one. Okay. We're going to go by the OXO. That's the, that's the 7-Eleven down here. 
OXO, not your uh, stripes. O X X O. It's open 24 hours. Now we got a right hand turn. And the guys behind me are happy about this. Motorcycle seems to be good. Okay. It'd be a bitch to drop that off the back. There's the Americo. Oh, that's the Americo. That's a machine shop. All right. They got. Yeah, I've seen this place before. It got lays in there. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice spot. Nice spot. I'm not really sure where we're going, but. It, Here's the Tornillo Santa Fe. Tell you the Servacio. Okay, a la derecha aquí. Another right. Tacos El Flaco tor Tortas there. Okay. And going around this block. Yeah, this is a big, big service place. Got suspension parts. Um, I like these bar dollar signs they've got down here. Two for one tacos here. One kilogram of fajita, 320. That's about $20, it's kind of high. The bar dollar signs, so I like them. You see those all over the place. Derecha aquí. Uno más. Uno más cuatro. Yeah, yeah. I'm not really sure where we're going, but there's one way streets around here. I think that's where we're running into because <laughs> we're heading back down the same way we just came. But there's the uh, the big pharmacy. 75% off says so right there. Aquí se puede parar, mire. Ahí. A la izquierda. I'll park right here. All right, here we are. We have made it. Bueno, aquí. Oh, look at this place. And that's the Carnitas Lefty over there. Let me see here. Oh man. All right, this is how you do it. There's a motorcycle, still in one piece. And uh, we got us a metal shop going over here. Okay, I'm gonna try and get this off of here and still keep filming somehow. Okay, Romero, Esto Key. That one's off. Just a minute, I'm gonna, we'll set this camera down for a second. Slight delay while we lift this thing off. Okay. Perfect. Okay, guys. There we go. I don't think we heard anything. You got your other part That's okay. Your bags. All right, this may have saved this kid's life because he was he was trying to ride that thing with a flat tire. It really didn't work that good. And with all our videos, you have to look at one of my heat tiles. Yes, that's why we're down here. Heat tiles. Everybody's like, why do you want that piece of junk? Well, that's a good, pretty good question. That's valid. I don't know what to say to that. You're cool? How about that? See, this, this is one that's bigger. It's cool too. So,
there's your update. You got your things? Toto? Okay. Make sure these guys haven't forgotten anything. Looks pretty good. Everything's a mess, but we don't care. Reorganize the truck a little bit. So, um, there you go, mi amigos. Buenas parte. Buenas parte. Donde vivo now? You vivo aquí? Uh, okay. Okay. Let's see. We're going to get a. Oh, this guy's going to get a patch here around the corner. Um, this is the bicycle shop here. Pretty cool. And this telecell, that's where you get your cell phone stuff. You can get cell phone service here for a month, unlimited cell phone service calls and text and all that stuff for $12. And I think we're getting stuck here in the United States of America for this. But here's another motorcycle shop. Oh, this is where you get them worked on, right on. Hold on. I think this is where he's gonna get the flat fixed. Wow, they got them tore apart and everything else. Yeah, we've got new tires bicycles and motorcycles here so um, this is a typical Mexican town we're seeing here I'm gonna walk across the street here and I think it may be a lot of that you have to have a, a helmet on oh yeah this is the meat market here hello it's looking Look at these sausages, wow. Bonitas. Look at that. Not sure going what's going on with the pigs here. I think that's porky there. I'm not sure what this stuff is. It's greasy bloody, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about some of this stuff. I'm not sure what this is. This is some kind of fried stuff. Huh, this looks like some chicharrones or something. No, this is a, uh, yeah. Oh, these look, these look good. Huh, should probably get a bag of those. Um, but this is just one intersection here where there's a fair amount happening. Your pharmacy over there, you probably get some drugs pretty cheap. And that's another motorcycle shop. So it looks like we're on the motorcycle corner here. Um, a little bit of taste of uh, life in Mexico. And uh, I guess I'm gonna leave it at that. We got this guy here. He's happy. We didn't tear anything up. We didn't tear up my truck. We didn't tear up the motorcycle. Oh, there's a bar, but it's closed. Damn it. Uh, the El Arroyo is closed. What kind of bar is that? What we got here? Oh, this is the shop where they're working on window frames. Yeah, they're doing windows in here. And doors. Wow. Now, this door is probably handmade here in Mexico. Pretty nice. A little music. Not sure what's going on here. Uh, not sure what's going on here. I see some furniture. So I guess it's a furniture store. You got a washing machine. Uh, here's your fabric store. I guess that's what this is. Yeah. Hola. Oh man, they've got all kinds of stuff in here. Fabrics and ribbons and thread the ladies be liking this stuff flowers 
Yeah. Oh, we got the shiny stuff. Look at all that yarn. <clears throat> Still looking for a bar that's open, but. Oh, looks like another furniture place. I'm bringing a mattress out here. There we go. It's a spring air, brand new. This place, uh, it's a laundromat. Yeah, they got a washer and a dryer in here and they'll do your laundry for you. So it's about, uh, 5.30 or 6 here local time and uh, so some of this stuff is closed not sure what some of this is oh here's a doctor place clinic oh here's a here's a hair salon we'll get our hair done I could probably use a haircut and here's the doctor's office oh it's an eye doctor yeah he's closed so um all right, well, I guess that's all I got for you right now. I'm going to hike back down here to my truck, get in it, and do some driving. I'm heading for La Pesca tonight, and uh, I, I believe I'm going to head back to the U.S. of A. tomorrow. And see if they'll let me in with all my cargo. I have had difficulty with that. Now, this guy is riding low because he's got a water tank. You see this all over Mexico. People are hauling water because they don't have good water in most of these places. The wells are bad. If you want drinkable water, you have to bring it in. They've got a bunch of these little, well, that's not a little truck, that's F-150. But you'll see people hauling these with trailers in the back of the Ford Rangers. I mean, that squats them when you put that much weight on them because that's, that's a lot of weight, that water. But he's going to have uh, something to drink and a new place to sleep tonight. So he's looking good with that. Still a little disappointed about the El Arroyo. But what can you do? Go find another bar, I guess. So there's your hook. See, got water in the back of this truck. Water's a big deal down here. We take this for granted in the States that you're going to be able to drink water. But don't count on it down here in Mexico. Anyway, Aldama, Mexico, there's a little tour of one corner, in a random corner in Aldama. This is a pretty good sized town, so there's quite a few little rando corners like this. And uh, I should check out more of it. That fried chicken sounding pretty good right now, so I might just go back around the blocks to see if I can find that place. So. All right, there you go. I'm going to let you go now. Hey, Alistair Haley. Hey, Joel. Uh, yeah, Mexico. You have to love this place. I think Al's been down here. I'm pretty sure Joel's been down here. Uh, but the heat tile search goes on. And uh, look at this little guy. I like these little motorcycle things they have here. Yeah, we got big old cars. They do it all with a little motorcycle engine. Ah, uh, see some friends here. Oh wait a minute, we gotta get these girls. We gotta get these girls on camera. Yeah, they want to be stars. So, okay, there you have it. We'll see you later. And uh, I'm going to call back when I find a bar around here. Bye.